Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed today. Well, today I want to talk about the Powerwall 2 and how it can integrate with a three phase home uh, using either one or three phase solar inverters. And I'm also going to touch on the new Gateway 2. And I'm also going to talk about uh, what would happen if you had three Powerwall 2s and also what is the possibility of backup in three phase with a new gateway? Well, first of all, this situation here is a three phase home, as you can see, red, blue, and black, with a net meter and a single phase inverter and a single phase gateway with one power wall two. So in this situation, which is very similar to my home actually, what happens here is that uh, if there is a one kilowatt load here on the blue phase, the gateway will happily supply the home on this phase here. If there is a load here on this red phase, what the gateway does is uh, allows the grid to come in on the red phase but then discharges one kilowatt back here on its own phase and the net meter then goes okay i've given you one and we're going to take one back that cancels each other out it doesn't build a customer same thing applies if it has a load on this black phase as well sends one from the grid takes one back from the gateway cancels each other out so you don't get billed either way and also don't get gypped because you don't get like a feed-in tariff with the one kilowatt going back this way, but you're paying full price for the load going that way, if that makes sense. So that's how it works with three phase home, a single phase inverter, sorry, single phase gateway and a single phase solar inverter. If you have a three phase inverter, now this is where it gets tricky for solar. If you have three phase inverter, you can only send uh, one phase from the inverter to the gateway and the other two phases have to go to the house like this. And same with this one here. So second phase going to this one, third phase going to that one, and the first phase goes to the gateway. So in reality, you're only gonna get one third of the load from the solar panels charging your power wall too. Not ideal, unless you've got a massive solar array, of course. What happens in that situation if you've got a blackout? Okay, so in a blackout, the gateway will have enough charge to power your home on this phase alone until the power wall two drains itself to zero. Because it's a three phase inverter, it needs three phase of power from the grid, right? Or from some sort of battery source. Um, so in that case, this gets knocked out in a blackout. This gets knocked out. It will still get energy from here, but I'll explain a bit more detail as to why that's not even possible. But even looking at that, yeah, a three phase inverter needs three phases of supply. So that's not going to work. Solar panels cannot power your home or your gateway. So that's very simply put. Now people are asking currently on the internet, and I've, I've read some of these uh, questions on different forums and things. What happens if you had a gateway two, which is apparently kind of come out very soon in Australia with a three phase uh, supply potentially? Well, let's, let's talk about that. So what if you've got, well, let's cross these out for a second. So they look a bit nicer. So let's put that back there. Let's put that back here. So what if you've got three Powerwall 2s like that with each phase getting uh, a supply of Powerwall 2s because that would be possible. Apparently it's a three phase um, gateway 2 that can allow one Powerwall 2 for each phase. So you could actually supply a Powerwall 2 to this phase and same with that phase and also with this one and with this one. So really, you'd think, well, in that case, you really should be able to supply one power wall two to each of these phases of this three-phase inverter, right? And therefore, the problem is solved, you would think. But uh, consider this for a fact, and I think this is when the penny drops for me, when I kept thinking, well, yeah, that's possible, but remember, for any, any three-phase appliance, and that not, doesn't only apply to solar inverters, but it also applies to large devices like, uh, like your air conditioning, which is, might be three-phase um, three fully ducted, or even your Tesla charger at 22 kilowatts, which is a three phase device. It needs to be 400 volts at three phase. Presumably at 32 amps per phase. <clears throat> so in that case, that's impossible because the power wall two is AC coupled. And what do I mean by that? Well, AC coupled means that there is a built in inverter in there that will only allow 240 volts. So as you can see, even if it's 240 volts on each phase, it cannot supply a 400 volt supply to the solar inverter on, for the solar panels. Which is now why I understand you can't have an AC coupled Powerwall 2, even if it's on a Gateway 2 with three Powerwall 2s, one for each phase, 
supplying a 400 volt solar inverter. So that's not possible. If, if Tesla had brought out a DC coupled Powerwall 2, then there wouldn't be a built-in inverter in the Powerwall 2. This would be fully DC, because it's DC currently. You'd have to buy a hybrid inverter separately, which costs quite a bit of money. It's like, I looked it up today, it's about three to $4,000 for like a, a Fronius Simo three-phase hybrid inverter, for example. So that would add to the cost of a DC Powerwall 2. Then you could potentially hook up three phases to this inverter, and then your solar panels could actually run in an off-grid situation. Um, now the Powerwall 1 was DC, but I won't go too much into it because you cannot buy a Powerwall 1 brand new anymore. So that's your options, or the other thing is you can wait for a Powerwall 3, which you would hope would be three phase. I'll put a big question mark there. Or maybe even DC coupled. Because that would be nice, because then, you know, for Australian markets or other countries which are three phase, like in most of Europe and most of Asia, uh, you would come, you would have a DC Powerwall 3, and you just have to buy yourself a hybrid inverter, which admittedly would cost a bit more. And uh, you know what? Some people might need more than 13.5 kilowatt hours for a Powerwall. Personally, I need more than that in winter for heating. I probably need something more like 20 to 25 kilowatt hours to cover my heating. But most of the year, 13.5 kilowatt hours is actually pretty decent for my family anyway. So I hope that makes sense. Um, it's impossible for Powerwall 2s on each phase, even if you're using a Gateway 2, which is three phase compatible, to power a 400 volt three phase um, device like a solar inverter. And you know what? I think it's even impossible to supply an air conditioning system, even if it's on grid. Because if you've got if you've got a three-phase fully ducted air conditioning at 400 volts, even if you've got three power twos during an on-grid situation, it cannot supply that. So I'm thinking for a three-phase device, it's always pulling from the grid, and then it's always netting back, which means that it's not a true green solution for a three-phase device, uh, which got me thinking today. Yeah, that's um, I, I don't run many three-phase devices in my home. In fact, my Tesla charger is single-phase. My fully ducted AC is three phase but we rarely run that I'd say we run that five you know a handful of times a year so for me personally it doesn't affect me but I know if you've got some three phase devices at home then that that's a bit of a bother that, that it's not a true green solution that you are coming from the grid most of the time and netting off uh, with a net meter so guys that's uh, that's my explanation about why it's impossible for a power to uh, even even a series of power twos with a gateway two to supply a three phase solar inverter during an off-grid situation Hope that made sense. Uh, please leave a comment below tonight uh, if you're watching this, and um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and thanks for watching uh, Ludicrous Feed. And uh, hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world, guys. Take care of yourselves, and as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!